Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Ephesians 4.26.27 Anger is a complex subject. Just mentioning the word brings all kinds of images to mind. Anger is a real problem today. Counseling offices, prisons, divorce courts, pastor's offices, psychiatric hospitals, and juvenile detention centers are filled with angry people. Anger is the greatest cause of damaged marriages, abused children, and violence in the home and workplace. It is impossible to live this life without getting angry over someone or something. We all get angry from time to time. God commands us as Christians not to sin when we get angry, because it opens the door to all kinds of problems, including giving the devil a foothold. Sometimes anger is justifiable, but most of the time it is sinful. Many Christians have anger problems, but through Christ they can manage and resolve these issues. We don't have to be slaves to our anger. I'm Steve Rossi, a Christian counselor. Welcome to my video, Understanding and Dealing with Anger, part one of three parts. These short videos are designed for the Christian community. I pray that you are encouraged and blessed by them. I pray that you live victoriously in Christ. My website is www.thechristiancounselor.com. What is anger? How does it work? What does God and the Bible say about anger? Anger is an emotional response which usually results from a frustration or blocked need. Anger can be explosive or expressed more subtly as in irritability or cynicism. Anger may act as an alarm when someone pushes your button of guilt or pain from unresolved hurts. God's Word says a lot about anger. We are to be angry and not sin. Ephesians 4.26 So, we are allowed to be angry to a point, letting the person know that they have wronged us, but not to do so in a way that harms them, or that we hold on to the anger. There is godly righteous anger, and this is where Jesus cleared the temple. Luke 10, 45, 46. He was angry because the people were selling in a place of worship. Jesus was mad because the people violated a covenant with God. The Bible says we are to let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Ephesians 4.31 And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 God's Word says a lot about sin and blowing up. The Proverbs are full of statements illustrating the consequences of uncontrolled anger. Proverbs 14.29 15.18 19.19 20.21 29.11 and 29.22. We are warned against associating with people given to anger, that we may become like them. Proverbs 22, 24, and 25. We are encouraged to restrain our anger, to overlook offenses. James reminds us to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Biblical anger does not harm it states the injustice and restores relationships. The ultimate goal is resolution and reconciliation. Understanding anger. Where does your anger come from? How does it affect you and others? We get mad for different reasons. Your anger may be related to feeling helpless or powerless over a certain goal or a bunch of desires that have been thwarted. You may be angry because you experience rejection rather than love in a relationship. It may be that your anger is fear-based or because someone violated a covenant with you as in adultery. Your anger affects you when you hold a grudge against someone. It becomes destructive when we harbor unforgiveness. I will cover the topic of unforgiveness in another video. Anger can turn to a depressed, defeated spirit. Depression can lead to a critical spirit. 
Our anger can affect others in many ways. It hurts others. <clears throat> Our anger can make people mistrust and avoid us. It can reduce or destroy relationships with others. It can give the devil a foothold on us when we don't forgive. 2 Corinthians 2.10-11 we know that anger can hinder prayer. 1 Timothy 2.8 Anger can numb or block us from experiencing God's love. It hinders our relationship with God. We must deal with our anger. Anger is sinful most of the time. It can consume us and weaken our Christian walk.